Carousels are a part of Western New York's history, and now they're a part of the plan for Canal Side's future. 7 Eyewitness News anchor Jeff Russo is keeping an eye on Buffalo development for us tonight. It's perfect for all ages. The sights and sounds of an historic attraction now one step closer to returning home. State Assemblyman Sean Ryan announcing $600,000 in state capital funding to restore a classic carousel built in western New York with the hopes of bringing it to Canal Side. It's the perfect fit because it's year round. It will complement the Explore More Children's Museum. This is going to be another iconic part of the Canal Side experience. $250,000 has already been raised to purchase the Spillman Engineering Carousel, which was built in 1924 by the Herschel line of companies in North Tonawanda. Buffalo, New York has much to gain by having this beautiful, gleaming, musical, simple pleasure in downtown Buffalo. The carousel has been in storage for more than 60 years, most recently in Ohio, but when it's restored, it'll look similar to this example, currently at the Herschel Carousel Factory Museum, just blocks away from where it was produced in North Tonawanda. It's very special because it's one of perhaps only 10 or 12 large park size machines that were made by the Herschel companies. It is a menagerie carousel, which means it has many different kinds of animals on it, lion and tigers. Restoration is expected to take 18 months. The next step, finding an official home for the carousel. An 8,000 square foot structure will be needed to house the attraction at an estimated cost of $3 million. We hope to have it funded with a public-private uh, partnership. There's been a real big outwelling of support for the carousel, so we think we're going to be able to get a lot of donations. Now, Ryan says conversations continue with the city and the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation on a potential location. In a statement, the ECHDC applauded the restoration, would like to see the carousel on the waterfront, and says it will continue to meet to determine if it can be accommodated at Canal Side. Jeff Russo, 7 Eyewitness News.